Here we're going to explain all the different parts of a tree. So if you cut down a tree with a chainsaw, you get a cross section view of the tree. This is what we're looking at. So the trunk of a tree, if the piece of the tree that was sticking out of the ground, if you looked at that, you should see a circular shape, something like this. And we're going to work from the inside out. The center here, this black dot in the middle, that is the pith of the tree. And it's what we call the dead center, meaning it's not alive. It used to be alive, but it's not anymore. That pith was the seedling when the tree started growing, but that seedling dies away and the pith is the remains of the seedling left over. The brown timber here, so the timber towards the center of the tree, this is the heartwood. Heartwood is dark in color, it's very tough, it's quite dry, there's not very much moisture in it, and it doesn't get uh, attacked by insects or fungus. It is the oldest timber in the tree. Moving out past that, the yellow section here, is our sapwood. The sapwood is the younger tr timber, so it's the, tr the timber that has grown in recent years. It's uh, lighter in colour, it's softer, it's very moist, there's a lot of moisture in it, and this is the timber that gets attacked by uh, insects and fungus if they get to attack the tree. We've got this broken line around the ring on the outside. That is what we call the cambium layer. The cambium layer is the growing part of the tree. It also has a second job in that it carries water and minerals from the roots up to the leaves. So it carries the food up the tree for photosynthesis to happen. After photosynthesis happens in the leaves, that is where this green ring comes in. So the green ring here is the inner bark or the bast that carries the sap. So after photosynthesis happens, the inner bark or the bast as it's called, carries the sap back down the tree so that the tree can get fed. We have ray cells. Here are our ray cells. The ray cells carry that sap and food in towards the center of the tree. So the inner bark carries the sap down, the ray cells carry the sap in towards the center of the tree. And then the last part we have is the bark on the outside. And the bark is a tough outer skin that's going to protect the tree from animals, insects, fungus and weather. So weather being very hot weather, very cold weather, wind, um, snow and ice or any type of bad weather you get. And then we have just simple explanations of each of the parts down below.